It was energy that first brought the founding member states together. 64 years after the advent of the coal and steel community, the EU is ready to take another leap forward. With 28 member states, each with their own regulations and energy mixes, more often than not, European citizens and consumers get the short end of a liberalised energy market. To remedy this, MEPs have taken a first step towards setting up a European energy union in a committee vote. Today I think we stepped up and, and showed that this ITRA committee is capable of working together across political par parties in order to get things done. The main points of the new energy framework are energy security. The EU imports 53% of its energy. Its biggest provider is Russia with all the political entanglements and uncertainties that come with that. Decarbonisation of the economy. With the Paris conference just around the corner, the EU wants to have a greater share of renewables in its energy mix. Le charbon n'a plus d'avenir dans un monde qui veut pas avoir la fièvre climatique et donc il faut que nous ayons aussi le courage à dire à la Pologne, à certains autres que désolé, ils peuvent pas continuer à, à, à injecter la fièvre à toute l'Europe. Next, the report will be presented in plenary in December. Seems to be